Hello and welcome to a video in which I want to explain to you more about the principle of our brain assistant, the software we self-develop that consists of games and applications. And in this video, I want to explain to you how you can imagine if it is an internal software, external software, and how to use it. Now, how does a neurofeedback or a biofeedback session start at all? So let's take a broad approach. You first need to get, let's say, neurofeedback. You need to you need to get an EEG signal. So all you need to do is hook a person up on an EEG. This can be via conductive electrodes, uh, bridge electrodes, and you plug it into your EEG amplifier. So this is what you already did if you are not new to the neurofeedback game. And what this EEG amplifier does, it sends a signal to your computer on which the software that comes with the EEG amplifier runs. Example, when you have a Nexus uh, device, then you will have Biotrace running. It comes with the EEG amplifier. If you have a Brain Master device, it will run with Brain Avatar. Now, what's the next step? Let's talk about how the brain assistant now works. Well, actually, first we talk about your EEG software. We want to keep things easy. So what we now did is your uh, person, your client that is hooked up to the EEG amplifier, um, you read out the EEG signal via the EEG software that still comes with your EEG amplifier. So in this case, you still use your EEG software like Brain Avatar or Biotrace. In this, you can choose your protocol. Uh, let's say you want to inhibit and reward a few things. You set your thresholds. This can be an auto protocol, manual thresholds. So it's all what you already did before. Nothing new to learn. You still use the same software. Now, next step is you still train with the software. So you will adjust the thresholds in the program you already know. So you still don't have to learn something new. You still use the same software as always. Now, next steps gets interesting. What now happens is the your EEG software automatically creates a reward or no reward signal. So when one or multiple conditions in your training protocol are met or not met, then your EEG software, usually when you use an existing game that comes with your software, says reward or no reward, so the feedback will be uh, influenced. And now what our brain assistant does is, our brain assistant can read out the data that your EEG software creates. So our brain assistant now knows, okay, the EEG training protocol now sends out a reward or no reward. And what you can now do is, you use the brain assistant to launch an application or a game so basically, you make things visible. So all you need to do is you start your existing software. There you adjust the thresholds. But now you don't start a game out of your existing software. You just need to use the brain assistant that consists of many different applications. One application is the media center. You probably stumbled over a couple of media centers in your, in your feedback career. Uh, our media center, we wanted to keep it simple. It comes with sound uh, modulation and a dimmer. But the sound modulation, I think, is a very powerful tool because it influences the entire system sound. So you're, when you use Windows, your entire Windows sound. This means your uh, client can watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, listen to Spotify if you have an eyes closed training or you use it with eyes open. So any existing file you want to influence the system with, so you want to have an audio feedback, you can use the media center in our brain assistant, which is very powerful, I think, to have auditive feedback. Obviously, you also have a dimmer. So for example, you watch Netflix, the sound gets turned up or down, and same uh, time you have a dimmer getting dark or bright. Obviously, you can influence the uh, how quick the sound should be influenced, how much the sound should be influenced, so get completely silent or still have 10% of volume turned up. And also you can uh, do the same with the dimmer, more in a more detailed video. Then the brain assistant consists of games that you just play with your brain. 
Meaning, very simple games you probably know. Uh, you have a rocket or something that needs to fly up or something needs to move to the left or right side in order to collect points. This is a game we would consider a classic game. You just play with your brain. You sit in a chair as a client and depending on if you have a positive or negative feedback, your brain will control the game. But now the brain assistant, in order to satisfy modern society's needs, you can also play a game that you play with your game, but also with a controller. This is a regular Xbox controller you hook up to your computer. And an example is in different videos is you play a game, for example, where you control a dragon and the dragon you control with your fingers because controlling too much with your brain is not possible and will frustrate the client. So a part of a game, you play with the controller itself or also controlling a spaceship. And um, this is what you control with your fingers. So you have motoric action but a part of the game is controlled by neurofeedback, so by your brain. For example, you need to control a dragon uh, that needs to move over blocks and the blocks will shake or appear or disappear uh, considering your brain activity. So this is controlled by the brain. So it's half, half, regular game and a game that is controlled by your brain. But there's more. We also have games in our brain assistant that are controlled by a brain you still can control part of the game with a controller and it even comes in virtual reality. So you have the 360 degree experience and um, this is, well, sometimes a lot because neurofeedback is a lot, then you need to control stuff and you have virtual reality. But if you have the techie guys and people that, especially also kids that wanna stay motivated, obviously virtual reality is a an, an nice way to keep clients motivated and also to have a nice experience while doing the neurofeedback training. And least the third category is neuro or bio experiences. These experiences are a little abstract. So for example, you have a walk through a forest where um, parts of the, your environment gets influenced by your brain or your bioactivity. Um, so for example, um, you walk around and the sun rises up when you have a reward. So for example, you're focused or you get more relaxed and the sun turns down or it gets darker uh, as a punishment, as a negative uh, feedback. And there are also sound experiences because some clients, they like to keep things simple, uh, but still interesting. So they don't wanna play games per se, they want to experience things. So to summarize, we want the best feedback for every client. And as you probably know, there's a ton of different needs, a ton of different clients. And some like simple games, some like very powerful uh, or colorful games, some like gamification, and especially kids, training get, tends to get boring if you always play the same game and it's always the same result. So we wanna keep people excited to have the best therapy possible. So let's summarize because I know it's a lot, but actually it's simple. You still use your existing hardware that you have. You use the same EEG software where you set the threshold, where you control the EEG parameters. So the same as you used before. And now the only difference is our brain assistant realizes, ah, okay, uh, my the EEG software tells me something uh, needs to g create a reward, a positive feedback or a negative feedback. And out of the brain system, you can start any application you want. Um, the upside on that is that we can constantly deliver updates on that and um, constantly have new games or new experiences and stuff like that. At the end, your client can play a game, watch a movie, uh, animations, or listen to music. So you still use training protocols and do difficulty adjustments in your EG software and the feedback the client sees or hears is created by the brain assistant. So you have two programs running instead of just one, the EG software where you launch an application, but it gives us many upsides. As I said, we can do different things with the brain assistant. And so here's the question, why use a brain assistant and not just the existing EG software? Well, we are an independent company and we wanna focus on what we can do well. And what we can do well is do neuro and biofeedback treatment, 
we can do well to teach you how to use different training protocols. We have a lot of experience in dealing with clients and customers. This can be kids, this can be grown-ups, this can be corporate customers. So um, you can check out your, our website on that. And so we don't want to develop from scratch an EG hardware or the software to this EG hardware. This is what other people can do best, and this is not our core expertise. But we want to, we deal with clients every day. And so we want a nice experience and deliver constant updates with new content. Because we know if you need, need to report to clients and tell them why there is always the same game they play, uh, it will get frustrating. And you as a client also will get frustrated if you every day play the same game with your clients. So we know that problem. We want state-of-the-art graphics and gameplay. As I said, virtual reality, playing with an Xbox or PlayStation 4 controller. This is everything that, or this is all what clients demand. If they come to you in your practice and the first session you explain what neurofeedback is and you show a nice looking game, people will get motivated and they want to stay at your practice and play these games. Also, our brain assistant works with different EG software. We're constantly looking for new partners. If you are an EG, uh, you have your own EG software uh, that you develop, then contact us. Uh, we're always happy to partner up. Um, and I don't know uh, in what time we will have new partners, so I cannot name it. any names. You can check it out underneath in the video con uh, comment or on our website with what system it works. And it is from practitioners for practitioners. This is what I stressed a lot in this video. We have to deal with clients every day, so we know what clients want and we know um, how to test the game. So it's not that we develop and we need your feedback. Of course, we need your feedback. But we, when we have a new game, we have more than 30 sessions a day just in our center in Munich. So we test a lot our games. So we know the flaws, we know what people like, and we uh, constantly work on updates. And to keep things simple, as always, give it a try. I guess you'll like it and your patients will like it. And uh, this way you know more about how to deal uh, with the brain assistant, how this, the brain assistant idea works, that you can still use your existing software. Well, check it out on our website.